Our drive from Windsor, Ontario to Woodland Caribou Provincial Park took us two days and was over 1,866 kilometers in length. However, the most challenging part of the drive was the two-track road after turning off Highway 804 for almost 86 kilometers until the put-in. So we're just at our Lino Lake entrance point. It was uh, 85 kilometers of two-track trail to get into this, uh, this spot and now we have a 350 meter portage to get to Lino Lake. We're here in Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. It is August 2019. We should be in the park for 15 days, maybe 16 if things turn out okay. Lino Lake. First lake of the trip. That afternoon, we made our way to Bunny Lake to camp for the night. One small lift over, a 300 meter portage into Bunny, and then camp. That's good. Okay, we're just on Bunny Lake, basically a couple kilometers to our campsite, and we're gonna set up camp for the night. That last uh, 350 meter portage, I'm gonna check the uh, GPS log on it, but it seemed more like about 450 to me, and it was pretty tough terrain. A little bit tougher than what we're used uh, used to on, uh, especially on these uh, beginning lakes. But that's the way the topo falls sometimes. And we're on Bunny Lake. Very nice night, although we were a bit tired getting in last night. And I think you know, weirdly enough, it was the drive on that road that kind of really. Shook us, <laughs> shook us enough that we felt kind of uh, uh, beaten up by the time uh, we actually got onto the water. Weather was absolutely perfect right now. I'm just, well, I think it's around 60 degrees. Uh, and we've got that Crazy yellow blue steel Nova Craft out of the water, waiting to return into it. So today we have 12 kilometers and eight portages, but they're all small. They're all the, the, the longest portage is I think 300. Day two was one of the most challenging of the trip. We had several portages and were carrying maximum weight. Okay, we're off. Day two. Taking off from Bunny Lake. We've got eight portages today. And we're going to try and make our way to Paul Lake. Oh yeah, it's good. Just coming up to our fourth portage, a small uh, one, probably 40 or 50 meters. I had it as a lift over. Making our way towards Elephant Head. Short portage.
coming up on the portage to Bootjack Lake. It's a 125 meter. Bootjack Lake. That 125 was pretty easy and true to its name. burn zone on Elephant Head Lake. Seventy meter portage out of Elephant Lake or Elephant Head Lake moving into a stream system till we get to Paul. We're still in this burnt out zone. By the time we get to Paul, we should be out of the burn zone. Seventy meter portage, just two more for today. We got into the muck of that swamp. It was just brutal getting through that bog. It wasn't quite uh, deep enough to haul our gear. Okay, we got one more portage, a 300 meter into Paul Lake. It's been a long slog today. We're both looking forward to setting up camp and having a swim. We're just on Paul Lake. This is our last lake for tonight. We're both wiped. It's 6 o'clock. Uh, we left at 10, so we've been moving today for 8 hours couple little tiny little breaks but uh, not not anything really long and we're pretty wiped it's day three and we're leaving from our makeshift campsite at Paul Lake. We found one uh, towards the evening and we just didn't like it at all. And then we happened upon that moose. But then we kept paddling and paddling and paddling and we just were not coming across any sights on Paul. So we finally found a flat rock and we just set up on the rock. And uh, now we're moving off and we're going to see if we can find a campsite proper this morning and set up for the day. It's a camp day at uh, Paul Lake. So uh, last night we ended up uh, just camping out on a little ledge that was just flat enough and large enough for us to stick our tent on and uh, we couldn't find a campsite and it was getting late. It was, it was about eight o'clock by the time we pulled in. Uh, so we moved about uh, another three kilometers today. Again, we're on rock, so we have the uh, tent all set up with these little cairns on the corners. But it works out pretty good, and uh, it's at least flat. Um, and we got a pretty decent campsite. So 
we're gonna we decided we were gonna take a rest day here we were supposed to take a rest day on uh, Aegean Lake and we decided yesterday with uh, basically 10 hours of making our way across nine portages that uh, it was just too tough but good little spot we're gonna hang around here it's overcast uh, today so it's not too hot and I'm about to go first one On day four, we left Paul Lake and went to Aegean Lake with three portages in between. Okay, we're just setting off from Paul Lake. It's day four. Packed up camp. Uh, 10 o'clock right now, so we kind of lounged around this morning. And uh, we're going to be on our way to Aegean Lake possibly to risk lake depending on how well we feel after Aegean. Just rolling up to our uh, portage, our first 40 meter portage. Moving towards uh, Aegean. If only all the portages were 40 meters and flat paths, then there'd be too many canoeists. To the right here. We're just on the uh, Aegean Lake right now. Finished the uh, 425. Seemed a lot longer. We had some trouble trying to find it from the little unnamed lake uh, to which it originated. I had my GPS mark about 200 meters off. And that was, you know, oftentimes uh, these trails start out a stream or something that's kind of obvious on the map. But this one was right in the middle of the land mass. And so I ended up actually uh, bushwhacking to the other side of the portage, finding, picking up the trail from there, coming back uh, and picking up uh, Becky and the canoe. So it's a bit of an adventure. We just got finished with our pretty close uh, bear encounter there, and it's always fun 
when you see the bear from shore while you're on canoe and the bear's nowhere near your portage trail. So it was just pleasant viewing. He was uh, as curious about us as we were of him. And then he just got really interested in the blueberries that he was munching on. So we got a really pretty island campsite on Agilent, AGN. Thinking of the uh, GC manufacturer. But a really wonderful looking tent pad here. Gonna have to rock in again, but that's extremely flat. I like that. We had a trouble locating campsites on Nagion. It's day five in the morning. We're on Agion still. And we're doing a little bit of uh, fishing, trolling for some trout. No luck yet, but it is a gorgeous morning. And uh, we decided we we're gonna take a rest day here on Agion. Make our way to Jigsaw tomorrow.